All right, so what do I have here? Well, I went to the Louis Vuitton store and got some new shoes. So let's have a quick look. Sorry, I only have one hand, the other hand is filming, but these are the Louis Vuitton Offshore. And I don't want to just show them to you, just want to repeat what um, the guy in the store told me about them. So we just unpacked these. You know, beautiful packaging with all the documentation. And here we have the shoe, it's one. I'm just gonna leave the other one in. The other one looks exactly the same. So, it's good lighting. And now just to tell you something about what the guy told me in the store. So I was looking at these, there's two versions of these called the Louis Vuitton Offshore Sneaker. And there's one which is a high top. So basically it goes up and has the lash at the back with Louis Vuitton. It's way more aggressive and it's made from different material. So this, you can see it's, it's got shiny leather here. And this here, he told me was more like a neoprene, neoprene kind of um, texture. Whereas the other one, the high top is made out of full like canvas. So it's super hard, it's super water resistant. It's basically made of the stuff that, um, well, sails are made of. So this one, you know, sails from sailing boats. So this is definitely different. It's way softer by the touch. It feels way lighter. It feels much more um, breathable from the air. So when I was wearing these in the store, my feet were way cooler than in the high tops with the canvas. Um, biggest difference is definitely like this at the top. This is in the high top is made out of canvas as well. And this part here as well. And there's like really aggressive like um, yeah, seams in the in the high top. So this one's definitely more business casual, whereas the other one is more, well, I'd say a little bit more aggressive. Let's have a look at the sole. Here you can see the beautiful Louis V and very non-aggressive sole, you know, basically like, um, yeah, very low profile. And at the back you have the Louis Vuitton name again. There's no no logo on the on the shoe uh, on the upper. So you can't see anything that's made for, from Louis Vuitton. So you only know if you know the uh, pattern. And if you look at the back here, or if somebody is sitting like, you know, like this with the shoe. So I think the quality is really well made. So let's have a look how it looks inside. Well, there's just, you know, the inner, some numbers, whatever. Um, I think it looks really well made. So let me just get the other one. Um, I think it looks really well made and here we go side by side and I was wearing them in the store and I have to say that they're really beautiful comfortable and of course they're super expensive compared to um, other sneakers but it's um, you know for somebody looking for something um, a shoe that's a statement um, like not too aggressive statement these are pretty cool so that's what I went for Wanted to have a business casual shoe, um, you know, upgrade the upgrade the outfit a little bit and wear something that is well acceptable, but still like shows that I don't want to say style, but you know, can buy a Louis Vuitton shoe, which is um, required in some areas. So, yeah, I just wanted to give you a look. This looks light bluish. This is not gray or black or anything this is a light very light blue and as i said before it's very soft to the touch so wearing these in like rough weather conditions i think you destroy them and get wet feet um, but wearing them indoors at conferences at meetings i think they they should hold up really well um yeah here they they're sewn in so i was asking the 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 guy who sells these who actually worked previously in a in a shoe store like 15 years ago he said like you know, because you, you think like premium quality, right? These have to hold like forever. But the the reality is like if you treat them badly, they're going to break as fast as any other shoe. And so if you're going to play rough with these shoes, they're going to be destroyed super fast. And um, he told me the the biggest difference is that these are half handmade, like whereas a Nike or an Adidas is like purely, um, purely like 100% machine made and they just pull them off like the, the makers. And these are like definitely way more handmade so it's way more quality control and you know they this is all very well done 
Whereas in, on a Nike or an Adidas, you can, you know, you sometimes just have some faults in there. And the interesting part about this is I wear a 46 in Adidas right now and sometimes even 46 to 3. So uh, 46 and a half, which is, I'm not sure what that is in US and UK. I think it's like a 12 in US and maybe a 12 and a half in US. Um, and these I wear in 44 and a half, which is crazy. It's like, it's like down one and a half sizes. And he told me this is because um, when they're making the shoe with Adidas and Nike, because the machine producing them, they just pull them off like really aggressively. So what they do is they make them a little bigger so you can pull them off faster, so you can make more in an hour. That's why the shoes will fit rather randomly and not like very closely. So this is my true to size. So I, I, like five years ago in Adidas, I'd have 45, right? And now I have 46, it makes no sense. But this makes sense. So they make cutting them a little bit bigger in Adidas to pull them off the machines faster. And these are not. Well, so um, they fit definitely like when I'm in, in an Adidas, I'm 46. These are 44 and a half, so it's way down. And my, they're pretty long, so I have my toes are somewhere here. So and I think they're super comfortable. I have super wide feet, and I still think they're super comfortable. Um, yeah, this is just a look at this shoe. And I really like it. For me, it's not, not to go out there and totally, totally brag about it, but I like having, um, well, showing this uh, in, a, in a, you know, in a jeans outfit with uh, a polo shirt. Uh, maybe a shirt and a sports jacket, so that's the idea, and a nice watch, right? So, yeah, packaging of course is beautiful. They actually, he it was funny. He brought it out in a in a normal bag, uh, like a normal shoe box, and then when I said I want to buy them, he packaged them in this, you know, in this this stuff, and didn't even look at the inlay stuff. I don't know. Maybe the invoice is in here. I don't know. I haven't looked yet, but it's really nice. Um, buying experience was cool. Guy was very knowledgeable. Knew a lot. I was actually at another um, shoe store shortly before that. I wanted to buy something else. I wanted to buy some 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 sneakers as well um, for like two hundred fifty euros. And the shopping experience was so bad that I actually stopped. I didn't buy anything. With these, these are right now we're talking March two thousand nineteen. These are four hundred eighty euros. Yep. And let's see how they hold up. Might do another video to show you. Oh, they look after a year or something. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care.